What's good, YouTube? It's Cuddle of Death today. Hey, happy day. Woo! And we are back with my United Championship League Season 2 Tulsa Town Flames RU Picks discussion. Uh, if you would like to check out my OU and UU Picks discussion as to why I picked the things that I picked, then check the Season 2 United Championship League Tulsa Town Flames playlist, which will be linked in the description. Uh, so we got some pretty, what I would call decent... Are you picks? I'm pretty happy with them. And the first one that I ended up with is Yuxi. We're jumping straight into this right now, guys. Uh, Yuxi is a pretty awesome Pokemon. You're going to hear me talk very highly of most of my team because I want to have some faith here, you guys. Uh, what does a shiny look like? Okay, it's pretty cool. Uh, it comes with the ability Levitate, which is already great because we gain that nice and powerful ground immunity. Uh, and taking a look at the coverage here, let's see, it's it stats really fast. It's got okay HP, okay attack, and okay special attack. But the, the thing that I really like about Yuxi are its defenses as well as its speed. It has a base speed stat of 95, which is great, coupled with the 130 defense and special defense stat. So you can run it either as a physical wall or a special wall. Uh, you uh, have different coverages here. You got Daz and Gleam. You have the Calm Mind set up if you'd like. Uh, you also have access to things like energy ball and extra sensory, which are great. Fire punch to deal with pesky. Someone pointed out that I was saying this a lot um, last time. Those pesky steel types, right? Um, you can deal with those. It also plays the role of a cleric, which is great. Um, gets access to not only knockoff, but light screen and reflect. So it can be a great phenomenal screener. Uh, you can set up your rocks here. You can sub Calm Mind if you'd like. Uh, you can be a freaking jerk. You can also Thunder Wave and you can U-Turn. You can even Trick. You can Toxic. Or you can Zen Head. But you can just do so many different things with Yuxi. Let me tell you guys. And if you want to do the usually useless moves. Kind of like Gujar. Why do I sound so angry? Why am I shouting? I need to bring it down. I'm fashionably late. But that doesn't give me a right to yell at you guys, does it? Um, yeah, you can even raise its special defense even more with this usually useless amnesia because you never know with me. You never know what I'm going to run here. Uh, it's a pretty good Pokemon. Again, I mentioned this so much. Versatility, versatility, versatility. I have someone who's available to be a waller, a staller, shock collar, no, I was kidding, a knockoffer. I mean, you can, you can freaking, you turn out of there. You can set up some walls. You turn out of there. You can toxic stall. You turn out of there. You can heal your team with heal bell. Get those status ailments off my team. This is a great pick. Um, I was actually really, really happy to pick up Yuxi for my first pick. I felt like it would have gone to someone else if I did not get it, and I am so happy to get it. Moving on to the next Mon that we have picked up in the RU tier, we have Excelgore here. Uh, Excelgore is a very fast little guy who has access to, uh, let's see, Sticky Hold, which, you know... Uh, could be okay. It's it's really not that bad. There's also Unburden. So Sticky Hold, Unburden, and Hydration. I personally like Sticky Hold and Unburden here. Um, taking a look at the coverage here, you can get rid of the target special defense by two stages. You just go in an acid spray right now. Um, it has pretty cool things like agility plus baton pass if you want to pass off that plus two speed. Um, bug Buzz for stab and coverage. A really, really super fast Encore. Final Gambit to go in there and get a super fast Final Gambit off. Um, Excel Gore has a base HP stat of 80, so pretty much anything with a base HP stat of 80, assuming you're running max HP, will fall to a Final Gambit. So that's actually pretty awesome. Uh, it also gets Giga Drain. You have another knockoff user. Um, Pursuit, if you'd like. You have access to Recover. Uh, actually... Yeah, I was going to say Pursuit's okay. It's got 70 base attack. Uh, ob obviously, you would prefer to run it as special. But you know what else is actually really cool? It gets access to spikes. So if you'd like to set up some hazards here, you can, of course, get ready to stall people. And you have access to things like U-Turn. As far as usually useless moves on this one, uh, I mean, they probably are going to be a bit more useless than usual. Um, the thing that I really like about Excelgore and the main reason why I picked it up, it is a little speed demon. It outspeeds a lot of stuff. So I feel like this Excel Gore is going to be great. A great addition to the Tulsa Talon Flames with what it can do. It doesn't have as much coverage as you'd like, but what it doesn't have 
in coverage it makes up for in versatility whenever it comes to being able to baton pass final gambit encore the crap out of people knock off and just do a bunch of different things so i actually really really like that and i'm excited to see excel gore get some play this season in the ucl but i really really like this pick i think it was quite a solid one and i can't remember who had it last year was it joey was it joey i think it was joey i'm not sure but it's a pretty good mon. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the final RU pick, which ended up being my Mega Pokemon because the non-Mega version of this is not an RU. So we picked up Mega Bayonet. Um, whenever it comes to Mega Bayonet, it has a massive attack stat of 165. The rest of it's kind of like, uh. But uh, it also has access to the ability Prankster after Mega Evolving, of course. Uh, beforehand, you can run either Insomnia or Frisk as well as Cursed Body. Personally, I'm a big fan of Frisk because being able to see what item the Pokemon has if you don't know what it has already is great. But whenever we take a look at the movesets here, uh, <laughs> you could be that jerk and run Cotton Guard Mega Bina. It's a thing. Um, Prankster Destiny Bond can be pretty awesome. Honestly, like Disable can be really great too if you run into choice specs, choice like just any choice item users, that could be really good. Uh, foul play is pretty good. Gunk shot for coverage here. Knock off, that's gonna kind of hurt. Pain split can be okay because, of course, it's prankster pain split. It's just got a little bit of coverage here. Then, if you deal damage with Shadow Claw and you get that critical hit, that's gonna really hurt. As well as, you know, we have access to priority here with Shadow Sneak and Sucker Punch. Priority Taunt as well, which is. Right. I mean, we have, <laughs> obviously we have priority because of Prankster, but I mean like actual priority damaging moves as well can be very useful. Um, priority Thunder Wave, Toxic, Will-O-Wisp, and Trick isn't really going to do us any good because we're not going to be able to trick off our Bayonetite. Uh, it's, it's pretty good again. It's just mainly uh, being able to access a decent Prankster Pokemon that has that massive attack stat once again. Uh, has access to priority outside of Prankster. Being able to get some damage out there, it is pretty freaking good. And not to mention, it is a spin blocker. So having access to a ghost type to be a spin blocker is always a plus because if you are facing your opponent and they don't have a defogger but they have a rapid spinner, you are definitely in a great position to have Mega Bayonet on your team, just even sitting there as a freaking spin blocker. So I do like it. I like it a whole lot. And this, so far, I'm still really enjoying my draft. Uh, I think the only one that I didn't enjoy as much has to do with my uh, NU picks, which are actually going to be coming up pretty soon. But, you know, as a whole, I do have a pretty versatile team. That's my motto. Be versatile. Maybe we can win some stuff. And uh, having more versatile mods means I can do some more funky stuff, which you know you guys always look forward to with my teams. Uh, but that concludes my RU picks for the Tulsa Talon Flames United Championship League Season 2. We're fashionably late, uploading this super late, but I do hope that you guys enjoyed. And uh, I should be coming up with my NU picks here tomorrow. And then I should be going over the entirety of my draft later on. Thank you guys so much for your love and support. Toss the Town Flame Season 2 shirts are coming very soon. Uh, I'll have a video about those whenever they are available. And outside of that, guys, I will see you all in the next video. I love you guys. Bye!